sometimes you need to get dinner on the table quick. What do you do? What do you do? <laughs> to answer that question, we put together a series around casseroles. Casseroles? Yeah, casseroles. <laughs> Casseroles don't have to be boring or bland. Here at Terra the Foodie, we're bringing back the casserole, but better. In this first video of the series, I'm gonna show you how to make shrimp primavera casserole. Let's get started. First step is making the noodles. We have 12 ounces of wide egg noodles here. So we are going to pop them in some boiling water. And I like to salt my water if I'm making any kind of pasta or a noodle, so just put some salt in there. Dump your noodles in. That's four quarts of boiling water. Just grab a spoon. You want to stir them immediately so they don't stick. And just follow the package directions on the egg noodles that you grab. This one says cooks in seven to nine minutes. So since this is a casserole, we'll just do the seven minutes because it's gonna be soaking up the ingredients of the casserole. So we'll do seven minutes. We are going to grill up zucchini and squash and our shrimp. First, we'll go ahead and deal with the shrimp. Right here, I have some wooden skewers. If you're using wooden skewers, you do wanna soak them in water before you put them on the grill. So what we're gonna do is take the shrimp and Poke it through the tail first, and then poke it through this meaty part here. And that way it's secure, it's not going anywhere, right? And then just put it down to about there so you have room to hold it. And we're just gonna do that as many times as we need to to fill up this skewer. All right, the timer went off, so we are going to drain our egg noodles. Get yourself a colander. Now, I am going to come over here and grab this olive oil because pasta, when you drain it, it will start to stick together pretty quickly because of the starch. Just drizzle a little bit of olive oil over it and then just stir it up to kind of incorporate the olive oil into the egg noodles. Next thing we want to do is slice up our zucchini and our squash because we're gonna put these on the grill as well. We're gonna cut them slightly thick. I'd say, I don't know, what is that? Is this an inch or a half an inch, Joe? Three-eighths. <laughs> there you go. Three-eighths of an inch. Three of an inch. Mm -hmm. And then Slice up your zucchini as well. Let's go ahead and put these in the pan because we are going to dress all of this stuff the same way. So first, we're going to drizzle extra virgin olive oil because we want that fruity, deep flavor that you get from extra virgin olive oil. Then we will hit it with some salt and then pepper and put on as much pepper as you like it can be just a nice thin coating or if you really like pepper just go at it and then just just kind of mix these up with your hands so they're all coated and seasoned all over and do the same with your shrimp just kind of turn them over and you're all good these are ready for the grill So we're going to go ahead and throw these on the grill. Now keep an eye on these because they are going to grill up fast. We can also go ahead and throw on our veggies. You can see pink is already starting to happen. All right, yeah, see how fast? This is gonna add some nice flavor. 
that over there. Try not to get burnt. <laughs> Can I just turn it? Yes. All right. Looking beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and close this now. And on this grill, this little dial is going to let us know how hot it is. And we want that to get up to 400 degrees. All right. So the next step is you want to put together the, uh, the sauce portion of the casserole. In every casserole, you need some moisture. You need something that's going to bring all your ingredients together. And when you put it in the oven, it's going to allow everything to kind of meld together and stay moist. And I know some people don't like that word, but I don't understand you. So because when you're talking about food, sometimes it's. So for our sauce, we are going to use good old Campbell's soup. Obviously, you can use any soup you want, but you want to grab two cans of condensed cream of mushroom soup. And in this case, we went a little further and got the cream of mushroom with roasted garlic soup. If you have a chance to add extra flavor, always do it. We're going to go ahead and not screw up our nails <laughs> and open up this can. Get that into the bowl. All right, next you want to add a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese. The next thing you want to add is a cup of milk. We are going to use oat milk. I see Craig's hat. <laughs> Craig's hat. Craig. Craig, come get your hat. Come get your hat, Craig. <laughs> okay. Now to jazz this up a little bit even further, we are going to add a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. So you can measure it or you can kind of guess. So a teaspoon or so. Just put a little, actually, I feel like I want to put a little more like that. I'm going to add some more pepper as well. This ain't your grandma's casserole. And I think we're good with the salt because we put Parmesan cheese in there. Plus we salted our ingredients. So uh, we'll go ahead and add our cup of frozen peas. And then we are going to, actually, let's go ahead and stir this up. I'll just take the spoon that I was using for the noodles and we'll incorporate everything together so now we're gonna take honey would you like a shrimp we're hungry here you go baby there you go let's have a shrimp yeah mm. so good okay so take your shrimp off your skewer And we're just going to, we're going to chop them just a little bit. Because since this is a casserole, you want everything, every bite to have a little of everything, right? And what I suggest is just sort of doing like a, a cross cut. You know what I mean? Like four, each shrimp can be four pieces. And then you've got a nice bite sized piece there. Cross cut. You can go ahead and take all of your grilled up squash and zucchini, kind of pile them up so you can quickly chop them. All right, cross cut again. Get your little pile and make it the same size. Hey. You've got nice bite sized pieces. These are the last two ingredients that are going to go into our mixture. So we can go ahead and get our bowl again and put in our veggies and our shrimp. Okay, and then just mix this together. And that way, again, you get 
every ingredient in every bite. Grab your dish that you had your delicious grilled shrimp and veggies in and just whatever's in it, this is flavor. Keep it in there. Now go ahead and take your egg noodles and put those in your pan. It's already greased up because you've got your oil in there from the grilling and just kind of spread those in an even layer. And then you want to pour over top your amazing, delicious mixture. Ooh, this looks like a job for spatch. Come on, buddy. Spatch, spatch. <laughs> You gotta make it. You gotta make him talk. <laughs> Tell me with a face like that. I know. He's so excited. Yes. Then just spread this over. We're gonna mix it, but I'm spreading it first so that everything is even. Now go ahead and just sort of mix it through. And that way you've got an equal amount of noodles and sauce through your whole dish. What does this need, do you think? When you think casserole, what does this need? I'm thinking a crunchy top. To make the topping, you want to melt two tablespoons of butter. And then we are going to take a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. And again, add flavor where you can. So we picked out the garlic and herb breadcrumbs. Add a quarter cup and then stir that up because we have parmesan cheese in this casserole we'll go ahead and sprinkle some extra parmesan cheese over top about a half a cup now you can go ahead and take this mixture and i'm actually going to put it in my hand because it's easier for me to sprinkle i I feel like that's, it's kind of like sand. So take the mixture and just kind of sprinkle it over the top because you want it to, you know, be all over. And it's not going to coat the whole thing or anything. This is more meant to be like little tastes of this yummy breadcrumb, buttery texture. The final ingredient is going to be green onions. We'll go ahead and cut these. Any of the kind of raggedy ends you don't need. And then just, and then just take these green onions and sprinkle them over your casserole. This is now ready for indirect cooking on our grill, or if you're using an oven, you want it to be at 400 degrees. We're putting it in for 20 minutes, and then we will check it and make sure that it's hot and bubbly. If it is, we take it out. That's our pet squirrel that we put out nuts for, and he's looking for some more nuts. <laughs> you wanna see the casserole? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Ricky, oh, <laughs> we're going to open up the grill. It's at 400 degrees. And again, we're using indirect heat. So just the outside burners are on and we're going to place our casserole in the middle here. And we're going to close it up and we're going to check on it in 20 minutes. We're going to see what it looks like. Ah! Ooh, all right. So we've got some browning happening on top. Starting to see a little bubbling in here. Let's go ahead and grab this off of the grill. Ooh, it smells really good. You can smell, you can smell the green onion and the herbed breadcrumbs and the cheese, the shrimp. It looks amazing. It smells amazing. So let's take this inside before I burn the shit out of my hands and let's taste it. Right, so we are ready to cut into this. I'm excited. It looks nice and cheesy. Mm, yep, that's the winner. Okay, let me get a nice square of it. Ta-da!
Time to taste. Mm. That is delicious. <laughs> that is super creamy. The shrimp is not overcooked, even though it was baked. The little bits of brown herbiness on top, so good. You're getting your veggies in, you're getting some peas in there that are bursting open. Amazing. I think that you should make it today. And if you do, send us a picture. Comment below if you made it. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. And if you like what you see, hit the like button and the notification bell so you never miss a video. So keep your eyes open for more ideas for quick dinners for the week or any time that you're busy. Until the next video in this series, I'm Tara the Foodie, and I will see you next time. <laughs> Dig in. Ah.